We must put on that suit of armor. We must disconnect ourselves and stop being prisoners to the sadness, to the fear. And these battles that we must face has different stories connected to it. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives has many things that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. We must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all gonna face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. Life is beautiful. And you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can. If you're holding on to fear, disconnect it. That relationship that you are in right now may not be working out. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Focus on your opportunities. You have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. This is what makes you unique. Press on and fight with everything you have. Hello and welcome to your day. A day of fulfillment a day of opportunity. A day of opportunities or challenges that may come your way. What are your expectations? What is it that you ultimately want? What are you looking to do? It is time for you to stop wandering in the wilderness and start focusing on the journey at hand. Pushing yourself forward and working as hard as you can is only a fraction of what this journey is going to be all about. Will you be prepared? Are you prepared? Will you accept the fact that your birth was no accident? Will you accept the fact that there is a purpose attached to you? Will you accept the fact that you are a living, breathing testimony? It is time for you to stop feeling sorry. It is time for you to stop doubting. It is time for you to stop being afraid. The risk that you take in most cases are the greatest victories of all. You cannot sit back and wait and wonder and think that you do not know what it is that you are seeking. You are seeking success. You are seeking victories. You are seeking growth. You are seeking potential. Because you, my friend, are the greatest creation on earth. All you have to do is fight for what it is that you believe in. Push with integrity. Don't just hope for it. Will it. 
Don't just think about it. Be about it. If you want something, you have to go get it. It's all business, nothing personal. Stop keeping your head down. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. If you want it, go get it. It's yours, your body, your mind, your soul. It is one. All you gotta do is go out there and get what it is that you are looking for. It is not going to be easy, my friend. It is not going to be a walk in the park where you can walk and smile all day. There are going to be some dark days. There are going to be some rainy days. There are going to be some sunny days. But at the end of the day, you are above ground and not under it. It is time for you to push harder than you've ever pushed in your life. It is time for you to work as hard as you can. I want you to take a look in the mirror. The image in the mirror, that is not who you are. You are greater than the image in the mirror. You walk, you push, you do whatever it takes. You keep working hard, you dig deep, you find a way, you make a way. This is your time. Don't wait for somebody else to give you something. Earn it. You work for it. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, Life is still good. Life has so many moving parts. But life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're going to face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're going to fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in a position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it. No one deserves to control it. No one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life. And you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself. And take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. How hungry are you? How deep is your determination? How driven are you? These are the questions that you must ask yourself. But do you have the answers to it? 
Do you understand what it takes to be hungry? Now, if you're the type of person that's waiting for someone to serve you up a plate of success, then you're going to be waiting a long time because no one is waiting for you to make up your mind. Being hungry and staying driven is what it's going to take to take you to the next level, to elevate you in areas that you've never been. Being hungry and driven is important. It's more important than sleep. It's more important than excuses. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to question you. They're going to ask you why. But it's not up to them to make the decisions for you. Your success depends on you. How hungry are you? How driven are you? Do you go a full day without a meal? Are you the type of person that likes only to eat once a day? Now, how do you survive off of one meal a day? Well, you may be thinking, well, people do it all the time. But we're not talking about food nourishment. We're talking about what's inside, what really you're looking for, what exactly that you want out of your life. A different type of hunger. A hunger for success. A hunger to follow your dreams and to get exactly it is what you're seeking in life. Standing out here in this desert, there are many different animals, creatures, that roam throughout this desert. And things out here get eaten or they eat. And you have to ask yourself, which one are you? Because no matter what's going on out here, the art of survival is to survive. to live and that's what these animals do so what kind of animal are you are you really hungry are you driven are you determined do you want it are you going to do everything that is necessary to get it because there's no pity out here in this desert if you don't go after what it is that you are seeking to satisfy your hunger, then you're gonna starve. And when there's weakness, something else is gonna come along and eat you up. Let's talk about excuses. Why are they so important to so many people? Why do people tend to hold on to these things? We talk about excuses all the time. You know why? Because excuses seem to be the narrative in most people's life. Which one are you? Are you gonna set aside the excuses? Are you gonna serve up that plate of opportunity? Are you truly gonna eat the right way instead of starving yourself, feeding off excuses? Hungry, yes. Stay hungry. Every day you should never be satisfied. I'm full. Full off of what? Don't ever get full. Always continue to stay hungry. Don't ever say I'm good. You're not good. Don't ever say you're okay. Okay is not going to make it for you. It's time to stay driven. It's time to stay hungry and continue to down the path which you are going after. In the world today, we find ourselves in many different positions. There are many people out here that just don't understand exactly what it is that they want. And we continue to go down this path all the time. You go through it, I go through it, many people go through it. They just don't have a clue about where they want to go in their lives. But are you prepared to do it? Do you have what it takes? Are you willing to give everything you have? Are you willing to set aside people that don't really matter in your life? Are you gonna stop holding on to the excuses? Are you gonna stop holding on to the misery and the sorrows and all of these things that won't elevate you? Society is struggling right now. Many people are struggling right now. That doesn't mean you don't stay hungry. 
let this be a lesson. If you're hurting right now, if you're struggling right now, that doesn't mean that you're out of the fight. You just got to stay hungry. You got to stay determined. You got to have wisdom. You got to have patience. You got to make sacrifices. Whatever it takes, you got to keep moving. Stay hungry. When you sit at the table, satisfy that hunger and then get up and go for second. Go for thirds if you have to, but be determined and stay hungry. Believe in yourself each and every day of your life because there's only so much time that we all have. Don't waste it on nonsense. Be productive, be strong, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. The heart of a champion what does it take to really truly be a champion? Well, it takes more than excuses. It takes more than just giving yourself a pass. There are only so many champions in the world. And true champions understand what dedication and hard work really is. True champions understand if you're gonna be a lion, you got to know what it means to go through the jungle. You can't pretend or fake it just to make it, to be a champion. When everybody else is sleeping, the champion is the one that wakes up. The champion gets up before the sun comes up. The champion is the one that never lets the sun catch them sleeping. There will become a time when you have to realize that you got to put in the work and you got to understand that if you're going to do it, you better do it with the right attitude. Because attitude is what's going to take to get you to the level that you need to be and beyond it. Champions don't just come overnight. Champions have to grow. Champions have to work. Champions have to dig. Champions have to believe. Champions don't have time to wait around for something to happen on its own. Being a champion takes work, grit, and understanding that if you're trying to be better than the opponent, you got to work a little bit harder than the person that you're up against. The grind is real. And everything that you do up to this point and beyond will depend on you. Are you a grinder? Are you determined? Are you willing? Will you go that extra mile? Will you put forth the effort that is necessary to get what it is you're seeking in your life? Be ready to grind, ladies and gentlemen. For every moment that you have been given is an opportunity to be greater than you was yesterday. For every opportunity that is given, you got to be willing to work a little bit harder. Be ready to go after it. How many of you have been in a competition where you pushed yourself and you worked so hard and you pushed everything you had within you and then you got so close to the finish line, your legs gave up. You didn't have nothing else left in your legs. You couldn't run a little bit further. You couldn't pedal that bike a little bit faster because you had nothing else left. That's when the grinder must come out. That's when you got to dig a little bit deeper. That's when you got to go after it a little bit harder than you've ever done in your life. So you always find yourself starting off on the right path. You start off, you're feeling good, you're running, you're doing everything that you need to do. But it starts to get harder. Things starting to push you back. Life starts to push you back. People start to push you back. Everything around you starts to crumble. You have nothing else left to give. But then you got to find something else. You got to turn on that grind switch. You got to get down and dirty and nasty if you got to. 
You got to do what necessarily is gonna take for you to get what you want. You got to go out there with everything you got. For every moment that you have, this is the chance to do it. Just keep on grinding. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but keep on grinding. You're gonna have those bad days, but keep on grinding. You're gonna wanna quit, but keep on grinding. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important part of your life. It is a decision that you have to make within yourself. No one is responsible for that. The grinder, you, the individual, the person that you are inside will determine the outcome, whatever you're gonna do in your life. So you must continue to grind harder. You must continue to find a way and make a way out of no way. Don't wait for a handout. Don't wait for someone to tell you to do it. Do it because you need to do it. Do it because it must be done. There are gonna be all kinds of challenges that we all must face. You cannot live in this world without a challenge. You cannot live in this world without a struggle. Because with every struggle that you have been through, it will help you to be stronger. But you cannot give up. Don't be afraid of the hard work. Don't be afraid to grind a little bit harder. Don't be afraid to sweat a little bit. It's okay, man. This ain't the time to be sitting up there feeling sorry. This ain't the time to be saying you don't have what it takes. So what do you think? You thought it was gonna be easy? You thought you were gonna be able to just walk in and walk out and say, hey, I'm the best of the best? You're not the best until you go through the test. You're not the best until you pass the test. So if you get some setbacks, embrace them. Sure, every day is not gonna be a good day for you. Every day is not gonna always happen for you. But it's always something happening. But you got to make it happen for the right reasons. For every day of your life, you must continue to believe in yourself. For every day of your life, you must have enough faith and understanding that it's up to you to make that difference count. So continue to grind. Grind with everything you got. Be strong every day of your life. No matter what comes your way, keep grinding and keep moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. The stage is set. And it's time to rock and roll. You are walking into an arena and you must be ready to work. There can be no weakness. There can be no excuses. Why does life have to be so difficult? Why must we struggle so much? What good is life? If every day there's so much pain, it is time to take control of your now, to be able to get back in the driver's seat, to understand that you must be tougher than your life. Do you feel that life is holding you back? Are you blaming your life for the difficulties that you face day in and day out? Welcome to the jungle! In the jungle, there are rules. And the rule is, survive. Are you holding on to something that won't help you to push the extra mile? that won't help you to push that extra rep that you need? 
Will you finish what you start? Or will you make excuses? What is it going to take for you to wake up and realize that in this place there is no easy? You can't get strong being easy. You can't get faster being easy. You can't be the best makeup of yourself being easy. Many things will come at you. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up. But you don't have the permission to do so. You must carry on the good fight. What great is in you? If you don't believe of your greatness that you possess inside. What good is your greatness? If you don't stand on it. How can you hold on to who you really are inside if you let everything else tell you that you're not worthy? The mistakes, the heartaches, the setbacks. You're gonna feel the heat, but you got to be cool. You got to calm your storm. You got to weather the storm. And know that your purpose in this world is meaningful. Your life is of great importance. The time that you have in this world is so precious. Be faithful. Be productive. Put away the destructive mindset. Let the world know that you matter. Believe in every step that you take. And if you stumble and fall, remember the ground will never apologize to you. So get up, carry on, be strong, and understand and know that your work is not done yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all human beings and we do have to learn how to crawl before we can walk. We all have mountains that we must climb. And each mountain that we climb has different circumstances, different avenues, different experiences. But yet, we must continue up that mountain. Humility brings out the best in all of us. It shows us who we truly are inside. Being humble doesn't mean that you are weak. It doesn't mean that you are afraid. It doesn't mean that you will not grow. Humility and being humble shows more strength than you can ever imagine. We must understand that we must humble ourselves before we can elevate ourselves. What good is a teacher if he or she is not willing to learn? Do we really have all the answers do we really have the mindset and what it takes to lead? Do we even have the mindset to follow? We question ourselves every day. What if? Or could we? 
or I'm not ready. There is no shame in being humble. In fact, some of your best leaders had to learn before they can lead. Do not be blinded by arrogance. Do not be blinded as if you have all of the answers. This is how you grow. This is how you learn. This is how you build up. Humility and being humble. It doesn't mean that it's over. That doesn't mean that you can't be a beast at what you do. It just means that you are learning. And when you are learning, you are growing. You are pursuing forward and not going back. Sure, there are going to be mistakes. Absolutely, you're going to fall down. Absolutely, you're going to see yourself in a rut. But it doesn't mean that you stop. Have you ever been put in a position where you've been knocked down so hard that all you could do was humble yourself? Because there was a time when you thought you were so high up, you forgot how you got up. You forgot what it took to get to the top. And being at the top is not easy. Because there are going to be other things that are coming after you. So when you got knocked down, all you could do was humble yourself. But you didn't have to give up within yourself. But humility taught you. It was your greatest teacher. It showed you that maybe you just don't have it all. Maybe you're not where you need to be right now. But sooner or later, you can get back up again. Do not forget how you started. Do not forget where you came from. But have the mental fortitude of where you're going. So failure decided to show up and pay you a visit. But now you feel that it is over for you. You feel that there is no coming back from this failure. You must understand that failure is required and you must be willing to be humble enough to not just learn from it, but grow from it. You don't deserve a victory without a failure. There can be no victory without a struggle attached to it. Failure does exactly what is necessary to make you better, to put you on the path at the right moment, to be able to build something from the ground up. And just because you fail, it doesn't mean that it's over. Sometimes you got to be able to understand with every step that you are taking moving forward sometimes you will get pushed back but when you get pushed back you come back you come back strong you come back with the willingness you come back with a purpose do not be afraid to fail. Failure is required. Champions cannot be champions without failures. You are always worthy of greatness, for greatness is within you. Greatness belongs to you. Even when you feel that you're at the weakest point, you got to understand that these failures are gonna do exactly what is necessary to help you to build up.
to teach you the lessons in life. To understand that you gotta get knocked down a few times. And when that opportunity comes for you to rise up, rise up with a full heart. Rise up understanding that it is not over for you and that you're just learning something about yourself. You're learning something about your journey. You're understanding that no matter what, failure is required. Now sometimes you got to also consider the fact that when these failures come, don't let it confuse you. Don't let it misuse you. Don't just accept it, but understand it. Understand that you got more work to do within yourself. Understand that you got to continue to fight for it. A champion does not worry. It doesn't concern himself or herself about challenges that they have to face. They realize that they have to put in work. They realize that every opponent that they face is an opportunity to go a little farther up that ladder. You're not worthy to be a champion if you don't apply yourself to be one. You're not worthy to hold on to a title if you don't have the integrity and the understanding and the grit and what you need to do to maintain what it means to be a champion. You don't deserve to have it handed to you. You may have to accept a few losses. You're gonna have to sometime understand that you got to lose so that you can win it all. A champion, a worker, a believer, Someone that knows what it means to push. Someone that understands that they got to do more than less. When you are in that position and competition shows up, be ready to fight. Be ready to fight. Be ready to fight for your life. Be ready to give it everything you got. Everybody doesn't understand what failure means. Sometimes people just want to give up because they fail at something. What good is a victory? What good is a win if you don't fail? And getting knocked down does not mean that you stay down. Getting knocked down doesn't mean that you're not breathing. You got to understand that this is what life is all about. How can you build if you don't have nothing to build on? How can you grow if you're not understanding that you got to be on the ground so that you can understand what it means to get up? Failure. What is it doing to you now? Do you think it's going to keep you down? Do you think that's all you have left? Do you believe that failure is the only reason that you're on the ground right now? Failure is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now what are you going to do about yourself? What are you going to do to rise up above the occasion? What are you going to do to find the source and the reason and the purpose within yourself to get what is necessary for you to go further than you've ever gone in your life? Don't let failure put you in a position where you feel that you are not worthy of something. You are always worthy of greatness. For greatness is within you. Greatness belongs to you. But it is not something that comes overnight. You want failure to make you feel that you don't have anything left to give of yourself. Failure will not apologize. It is designed to teach you a lesson. It is designed to make you better. Welcome to failures. Yes, there are many people in the world who refuse to fail. There are people right now that will tell you they never fail. Every living human being must fail. You must humble yourself. 
but there's always a greater force out there that's maybe a little bit tougher and a little bit stronger than you. And when it comes, you just gotta work a little bit harder so that you can overcome it. That may be a relationship that you're facing right now. The workplace may be a little challenging for you right now. Just raising your children may be a little challenging for you. But that doesn't mean that it's over. It only means that there's always gonna be work to be done. You're learning. And when you're learning, you are growing. You are growing to be something unique. You are growing to serve a purpose. Do not let failure confuse your opportunities. Let failure serve its purpose. Just make sure that you're serving your purpose. Make sure that you're not allowing failure to put you in a position to want to quit on you. Learn from failure. Let it be your greatest teacher of all. Let it educate you so you can understand that nothing happens overnight. It is a process. It is a learning experience. And the time will come where you will reflect on the many failures that you have embarked on. And for that, you will become greater than you was yesterday. So keep up the good fight. Keep pushing forward. And learn from the failures. And move forward with a purpose. For purpose is within you. And only failure is there to teach you. There are many battles that we all face in life. Certain circumstances will come into your life. And these battles that we must face has different stories connected to it. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives has many things and many circumstances that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. But we must find a way. We must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all going to face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. But we must have the winning attitude. Regardless if we fall down, regardless if the struggle is so hard, Regardless if we get pushed back a few steps. We must continue to press on. We must disconnect ourselves. And stop being prisoners. To the sadness. To the weakness. To the fear. To the doubt. We must become strong. We must become something unique. We must put on that suit of armor and prepare ourselves for battle. Yes, every battle cannot be won. 
but the winning attitude to not give up is more than enough to carry on. The places that you will go in your life. The places that you have been in your life. You have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. And this is what makes you special. This is what makes you unique. And this is what makes you stand out. But you are not out. You are not out of the fight. You must continue to press. Press on and fight with everything you have. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. So many people have given up so much of themselves. They have disconnected themselves from the reality that they are unique, that they are special, that they are blessed with this life. Life is beautiful and you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can because it will not last forever. If you're holding on to stress, disconnected if you're holding on to fear disconnected if you're holding on to sorrows if you're holding on to weakness disconnected that relationship that you are in right now may not be working out but that doesn't mean that you can't get out and resonate yourself Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Don't try to fix others. Focus on your opportunities. Focus on who you are as an individual. You can't save the world, but you can definitely make a difference. But make sure you make the difference within you. Because as long as you are leading the path, the right ones will walk with you. They will follow you. They will stand with you. They will break bread with you. So you must continue to believe. You must continue to understand that on this day, on this hour, this is your day and your time is now. Hold on tight and don't let go. Focus on what is necessary and disconnect yourself from the things that are not necessary. If you're feeling like you're going down, open up your heart and open up your mind and look up. Carry on and believe in it for each and every day of your life is a blessing, a blessing to breathe, a blessing to walk, a blessing to do what is necessary to continue the life. And not holding on to things that's not going to get you to the level in life you want to be. Don't be sorry. Just do better. Stop showing up for work late all the time. Stop being late for your success. Stop apologizing for the same mistakes over and over again. When you know you've done wrong, wake up and do right. Be accountable for your actions. Because actions speak louder than words. Stop depending on other people for you to do what's right. Having a pity party is not something that you celebrate. 
Don't be the sorriest person walking on earth. Start being more an exceptional idea of why you exist in this world. Many mistakes will happen in your life. No one is perfect. But don't make sorry your cushion. Don't make sorry your teddy bear. Don't make sorry your place of escape. Because excuses is a manifestation of failure. Stop giving in to sorry. Stop letting sorry dictate you. Stop letting sorry tell you what to do. You better realize that everybody is not going to accept your sorry. No one wants to hear it. Being sorry comes and goes. But every day doesn't have to be a sorry story about you. I'm sorry I'm late today. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry I didn't do this. I'm sorry I didn't do that. When are you gonna come back to the reality and just do what is necessary to carry on? Do better. Do better within yourself. Being better, it's a process in all itself. But sorry just won't cut it. Stop pretending and start doing. Because no one owes you anything. This is a reality check. Stop making sorry your master. Stop making sorry your place of business. Sorry? What you sorry for? Are you sorry that you woke up this morning? Are you sorry that you didn't make the cut? Are you sorry you just didn't have what it took? Stop being sorry and start doing better. Better within you. Better than anyone has ever seen. Better than your mistakes. Better than your failures. Better than those that doubted you. Sorry? You're not sorry. You just need to do better. Better is what you should be seeking, not sorry. Sorry is not something you want in your life. Pity party? We are done with that. There is no celebration and sorry. There are no victories and sorry. Sorry won't carry you over. Sorry won't pick you up. Sorry won't push you forward. Be better. Be better within yourself. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in the position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it 
No one deserves to control it. No one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life and you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. If you want something out of life, you got to go after it. Rise up and stop being lazy. Stop being lazy on a day-to-day -day basis. Stop waking up with the wrong attitude. Lazy doesn't qualify. It doesn't give you the things that you really truly need in your life. It won't push you. It won't make you better. It'll just bring you down and make you weak. Why would you want to be lazy? It's all business, nothing personal. If you want it, go get it. Procrastination will assassinate your motivation. And without motivation, how can you reach your destination? I'm not a lazy person. I want to be stronger. I want to be the best of myself every day of my life. Are you that person that says, you don't like to get up in the morning? You know, you hear that a lot these days. I'm not a person that likes to get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I say this often. When that sun is on my face and not on my grave, it's a blessing. I don't need to be lazy. I need to be determined. I need to put in work. I got a job to do. I got responsibilities. And one thing you must understand when it comes to success, it's not waiting on you. It's not thinking about you. Yeah, there's gonna be some obstacles when it comes to success. But you got to continue down the path, moving forward. It's not gonna be something that's gonna happen overnight. But even when you're tired, find a way to be strong. When you feel like you can't carry on, find a way to carry on. You're human. We're all human. And we have those days. But it's a blessed day. It's a good day. But it's not a day to be lazy. Put your lazy aside. Don't wait for someone to hand you something. Don't put it aside and say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, I'm not gonna do it right now. Tomorrow, I can take care of it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is good. I can do it tomorrow. No, you can do it now. Not tomorrow. Leave tomorrow alone. And stop letting lazy dictate your life. I don't agree with lazy. I preach it every day. If you want something out of life, you got to go after it. If you truly believe in yourself, then continue to believe in yourself. Have more faith in yourself and put lazy aside. Because it's not going to get you where you want in life. See, the thing about that thing want, we always talk about it. You hear it every single day. If you want something, you got to do this. If you want something, you got to do that. We can want all we want to. But how much are you willing to give of yourself? to get what you ultimately need. Lazy is not gonna cut it. Lazy is not gonna get you to that next level. Lazy is not gonna get you that promotion on your job. Lazy is not gonna help you to run a company. Lazy is not gonna give you the opportunity to be a CEO. That's not how it works. Your best players are champions right now. Your best players are the ones that's making it right now. And the ones that are lazy, they're not gonna get anything from it. So I need you to stay determined, I need you to stay driven, and I need you to give it 110% of everything you got.
be strong, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.